Making a Global Difference, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 150. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 150, February 7th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all of our open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 25% of the written content for the work lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan is purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of work. Behind the scenes, we wrote the final 25% of the written part of this same lesson plan, bringing it to 100% complete and ready for the next steps of transferring to the website. We also completed the first 25% of the mind map for the community lesson plan, and we add the icons to the community lesson plan webpage. What you see here is the mind map. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food completed another round organizing the streamlined version of our food self sufficiency transition plan page which includes contributions provided by naturopathic doctor Matt Martirano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health. This week, we further organized recipes, including creating a page for week four recipes. The organization is now approximately 95% complete. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revisions for the Footers, Foundations, and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we're developing. This week's focus was finishing the narrative for dome exterior finishing and adding title insertions, video title inserts, and the beginning of the step-by-step -step write-up and review for Section 14, Gutter Construction. We'd say we're now 67% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7, Jessica Rohrbach, architectural drafter, designer, and 3D modeler, continued working on the social and recreation spaces updates that you see here. These are design updates 3.0 from Jessica and include reading spaces, kids' play spaces, game spaces, and the patios for these treehouse spaces. Shilsey Augustine, architect, also continued developing the compressed earth block village pod 4 massage and treatment room spaces. What you see here are the layouts we decided on, including sinks and the addition of sliding glass doors for all the south-facing walls. 
Dean Scholes, architectural drafter, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 5.0 of this work that focused on addition, the addition of roads and pathways between the north and south wings. Last but not least, Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also began exploring color templates and materials for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. Here are examples of what we ultimately ended up settling on there. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued the process of learning how to do our own renders for the Duplical City Center. You can see this work in progress here, returning to the kitchen with more focus on lights, windows, and materials. The core team also completed a huge update of the Duplical City Center open source portal, improving the formatting and adding updated floor plan exports from AutoCAD. You can see all this great work here and visit the updated page for clickable and enlargeable images. Bupesh Sithala, interior designer, also did this research in different interface options for the control system's faceplate that will be built into the visitor room's pallet furniture beds. Ira Su, industrial designer, continued with these additional pipe couch designs for the Duplical City Center Library. The drawings you see here are her ninth generation drawings focusing on ways to support the back and secure the cushions. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also added her input to designing the pipe shelving for the Duplical City Center Library. Here's a new idea for lighting design and two of Brianna's layout proposals incorporating this idea into the pipe shelf designs. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, and Lucas Tetsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, continued discussion about what the appearance and best functional design should be for the beside bed control systems interface. Here's Mike showing a 3D printed box he made that could be one option for this. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team began working on a complete update of the one community business plan. What you see here is the beginning of reformatting the plan on a Google Doc for easier collaboration and sharing. We'd say we're about 2% done with the complete rewrite and update. We'd also finished working with Ivan Manzaroff, artist and illustrator, to create new icons for all of our pages. Here are the icons Ivan created for the highest good of all component. Last but not least, Jackie Tustain, freelance blogger, also began helping to convert lead certification research done by Matteo Manfredini, civil engineering student and urban design coordinator, into a web page. Here are the first pictures of this lead tutorial page developing on the site, starting with initial formatting and content editing. We'd say we're about 15% complete with this tutorial. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community is about making a global difference. And the way that we're doing that is through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Our definition of highest good living is an evolution of sustainability that includes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and takes those and combines them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, as well as true earth stewardship. Putting these things together as a model of sustainability that we believe will create a way of living that most people will see as better than the way that they're living right now. Our idea is if we can make this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, we'll make a global difference by creating a teacher demonstration model specifically designed to help others create teacher demonstration models as well. We call this solution models that create additional solution creating models. Like a 3D printer that can print itself only in this case, it's sustainable communities designed to teach others how to create sustainable communities as well. By making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough, the idea can spread its own and we believe has the potential, and if you run the numbers, it does have the potential, to positively impact the lives of every single person on this planet within our generation. This is our idea of making a global difference, of transforming the planet, creating a sustainable world for everybody. 
And so we are touching on all the things that we think are most important to create this way of living that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now. And we're bringing together the people with a consciousness for the highest good of all that want to help. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds like something you'd like to participate in, we've got lots of different ways to do that, ranging from the Pioneer Team, which are the people that will be moving onto the property and helping to build everything that is one community, to just sharing our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to access and share our information, all of which is open source and free, with as many others as possible. Because we're reaching for that global tipping point of participation of engagement where we can transform this planet, positively impact the lives of everybody and create a sustainable world. For the first time in the history of the human species, we have the ability to globally collaborate the way that we are right now. And so we are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Pinterest, we are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Facebook, LinkedIn, and about 15 other social media networks so that people that want to share our information, want to access our information, can do that in the way that works easiest and best for you. This is what one community is up to. This is our idea of making a global difference, and we think that open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living has that potential to transform the world for everybody. So people ask, well, what can we do to help? There's lots of different ways to help. Getting involved, volunteering with us. We're an all-volunteer, unpaid organization. Of course, sharing our information on social media networks and, or through social media. And we are, of course, also seeking large-scale funding. So if you are somebody that knows somebody or is somebody with the resources to help us out with either a donation to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or investing in one community, we'd love to talk to you. Also, the small donations are more helpful than most people realize. As an all-volunteer, unpaid organization, the small donations help cover our website fees and nonprofit fees and everything else to keep our organization running, and none of that money goes to paying any of our volunteers, myself or anybody else, because we are all volunteering our information unpaid. One community is here to make a global difference, to transform our planet positively and permanently for everyone within our lifetime. We want to create a place that people can come and visit and experience a way of life that they will see most likely as better than the way that they're living right now. And if they agree, or if they see a way to take what it is that we're doing and modify it, adapt it, or just replicate it, we're here to create the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints to do exactly that. Imagine a club med that you could experience, you could go and visit, and if you liked what you experienced, this vacation experience, you could be given everything necessary to replicate it for yourself and your family and your friends anywhere in the world. And in so doing, you would be creating <clears throat> another teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub that would teach others to do the same thing, bringing the resources to places that they're needed most around the world and helping others to do the same. This is what one community is up to. This is what we're creating. And this is how we're creating global change. So as always, thank you for following our progress. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list. You can also subscribe to this new YouTube channel. And uh, of course, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything that we're creating, you can send an email to one community. I'm sorry, you can visit our, ri our written blog. And uh, last but not least, of course, until next week, we will. Keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.